What's going on, everybody? John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. So, I wanted to have another drive-by devotional and hang out and drive with my good old friends out here in internet YouTube land and talk, yes, about Jesus, but about the body of Jesus, the body of Christ. Um, Psalm 133 says that God blesses unity. And one thing that God's people lack is unity. I want to talk about unity within the family of God. For about 500 years or so, there has been a major rift between uh, the Catholic Church, Protestant Church, uh, and then Protestant Church within itself because there's something like 2,000, maybe more, Protestant denominations and movements, um, not including people like myself who consider ourselves myself like independent um, of any kind of denomination and so this has got to be fixed it doesn't have to be fixed in that we all go to the same church we all believe in all the same doctrines that does not need to be fixed or people are going to have different opinions it is what it is the apostles had different opinions so that's not the problem what we need to first of all start doing is seeing um, what we have in common and then go from there um, and so for the lack of better terminology and just so I don't have to remember, Repeat ten different phrases over and over again. We're gonna we're gonna separate it into Protestant and Catholic. Okay, is the Catholic Church and everybody else. Okay, so Protestants and Catholics agree on a lot of different things. More things that we may realize. One, the inspiration of Scripture. That the Bible is completely inspired and it is the Word of God. Two, that Jesus Christ is God. Three, the Trinity. Uh, four, that Jesus Christ had died for the sins of the world. Five, the existence of angels and demons. Um, and there are hundreds of more things that... Um, that most Christians will agree on. Instead, we tend to focus on the things we disagree on. If we if we focus on things like the fact that Jesus loves us all and that Jesus wants everybody, then everything else kind of can go to the wayside. We need to work together. That doesn't mean that the Baptist Church needs to start accepting, you know, the Pope. It doesn't mean, you know, that the Pope needs to start speaking in tongues like, like the Pentecostals. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, what I'm talking about is find common ground. Those few things right there are common ground. The biggest uh, piece of common ground is that Jesus loves us all. And that really is all we need to work together. So, we get together and we do works of love in Jesus name together 
um, feeding the poor, helping the needy, um, showing compassion, showing mercy, doing community services, helping your neighbors out. You know, what we could put together uh, a team of people that goes and visits neighbors and says, hey, what's going on? Do you need anything? How can we help? That sort of thing. Um, you know, we can, these are things that we can do. I have a, a buddy of mine, um, a hardcore Catholic as you can get, but, you know, contrary to what most Protestant, and I include myself into this, um, most, you know, Protestant believers think, you know, he does know scripture. It's just, you know, this conception that, you know, the Catholic Church and Catholic people don't know scripture. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, you know, this guy knows scripture. Um, as a matter of fact, he was Pentecostal at one point before he became a Catholic. Okay. Um, we talk a lot about this sort of thing. I'm going to end off uh, with this story. So he was telling me the other day that a friend of his, um, a Pentecost, I'm not Pentecostal, could be Pentecostal, I don't know, um, Protestant friend of his, um, invited him to speak to, I, I believe it was a youth group. Um, and this is a good thing. This is an amazing thing. Because this is how we bridge gaps. This is how we find out that we have more in common. You know, and then we don't. That we, um, you know, you know, that we can work together. That we don't really hate each other as much as we think we do. You bridge gaps like this. You know, I would love to go speak to some kind of Catholic youth group. I would love to have my buddy come speak to some of my friends. Um, and hang out and fellowship with us. And bridge that gap. And then, you know, as God leads, start a work. Anyway, my friends, thank you for uh, driving along with me today. And I will catch you next time. God bless.